I have been finding a lot of questions from layer chicken farmers who are asking how do I feed my layer chicken or how much feed should I give to my layer chicken and I understand this because any commercial poultry farmer will testify to it that the cost of feed accounts to at least 70% of the chicken production. That, and that being said, it is therefore critical to be keen on how you use this expensive commodity at your poultry farm to make sure that you are getting the maximum production and at the same time you are saving on the cost of production. In this video, I want to share with you the nutritional requirements and the feed program. It is tested and verified to ensure that you feed your layer chicken the right way to avoid wastages and losses but before we get into this amazing and educative video if you haven't subscribed into this channel kindly hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time that we post a new video also if you get value from our videos kindly hit that like button and also share this video to other farmers so that they can be able to access this important information you see feeding layers is quite different from broilers in broilers once the feed is okay you just feed them ad libitum but for layers if you feed them that way that is continuously you will end up being on the loser side because when layers get obese they stop or reduce the rate of lay of laying but before we get to the feeding program on how to feed your layer chicken right from day one until the start of laying and beyond i want to quickly brush over the minimum nutritional requirements for layer chicken feed based on the three stages that is the chicks the growers and the layers and this is because it is important to know the standard requirement of a feed to avoid buying or preparing and making low quality feed i hope my screen is clear as you can see here we have the minimum nutritional requirements and we have the nutrient per age category here in the first column in the second column you have the chicks the growers and the layers and the stipulated weeks that you should feed each and every type of feed that is for the chick mash the growers mash and also the layers mash and in the nutrient category stage you can see we have the metabolizable energy the crude protein crude fiber calcium phosphorus lysine and methionine and remember this is these are the minimum nutritional requirements therefore if you fee, find that your feed contains less for example for the chick mash if you find out that it contains less than 2850 kilocalories per kg this means that the feed is not of good quality and your chicks are not going to grow in the right way therefore uh, this is just a table you can pause the video so that you can take a screenshot and you know it's a it's a it's a good way to ensure that your the feed that you are making or the feed that you are buying or the formula that you are using to make your feed you make sure that it meets at least this minimum <coughs> nutritional requirements and this is to ensure that the feed that you are making is of the best quality so the metabolizable energy and the crude protein the first two are the most important also do not assume these are calcium and phosphorus because we know layers are going to require calcium also these are amino acids are very important in the body generally everything here is very important and out of the many ingredients that are used to make the feed these are the most important nutrients that are contained in them that you may, should make sure that your feed at least meets these standard percentages after ensuring that your layer feed have met the minimum requirements here is a feeding program that you can use so that you can be able to know the right amount of feed to give to your layer chicken at every stage of growth and this is organized in a week to week basis and this helps to avoid wastages and to ensure that your layer buds grow effectively and also 
ensure that the egg production is optimum. I hope my screen is clear. As you can see here, we have the layer chicken feeding program. And we have on the first column, we have the age in weeks and also we have the intake in grams per bird per day. Then in week one, each chick should eat 12 to 15 grams per day. And in week two, you see it's increasing 15 to 21. It goes on increasing in week four to week six. You can see that each chick should eat about 30 to 40 grams. Then week seven to week eight, and this is the last week of the chick stage, they are going to feed 45 to 50 grams. And this means that at the last week, of feeding the chick mash they should be eating at around 45 to 50 grams and now when they get into the laying or into the grower stage that is nine week nine to week 15 you should feed them each 50 to 75 grams then from week 16 to week 27 they are going to feed 80 to 100 and 20 grams and you'll notice that somewhere here at week 19 that is the period when they will start laying and that means that once they start laying make sure that you are feeding them 120 grams per bird per day from week 28 onwards you are now going to increase their feed up to 120 grams up to 130 grams and this is to ensure that you get the best production that this is by ensuring that your layer feed have met the minimum standard requirements that we have talked about after that this feeding program helps you to get the best return on your investment in terms of making sure that the laying or the egg production is optimum and also you cut the cost of production by ensuring that you avoid feed wastages and also you prevent a situation whereby your chick layer chicken can become obese because of, of overfeeding them and this brings you know reduced egg production and as you make sure that or the layer feed for your chicken is of the right nutritional requirements and also as you use this feeding program so that you can be able to get the best out of your layer chicken I also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to formulate your own layer chicken feeds at the farm.